And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an intro for beginners. This is iPhone use only due to the fact that I used iMovie. But yeah, let's just get started. So the app, the first app you're going to need is an app called Fonto. It's completely free. And on that app, you're going to click on that little camera button at the bottom. Click on plain image. The white one. And at the top, there's a measurement bar. Click on that. And you're going to scroll down to where it says iPhone 8 Plus, 7 Plus, 6S Plus. Click on the landscape one, which is the wide one. And you're going to change the color to whatever color you want. You can even keep it white if you want to. But I chose like a bluish purple color. And then click Apply, Use, and Save. Okay, so once you got that done, you're going to click all around. Like anywhere you click is going to say add text. So you click on add text and type in your YouTube channel name or any name that you, that you please. You can do your real name. You can do somebody else's intro, but type in your YouTube name. Click on done and you can change the font if you please. And I think I chose the chalkboard one. And click on done. And you're going to click on style. And the style is to change the color of the letters. And I chose black with a white outline. And to do the outline, you click on stroke. Once you've got the color you want, you're able to tilt it if you want. But I chose to keep mine straight. And you're also going to want to size it, big or small, doesn't matter. And I chose mine to keep mine, whoa, I chose to keep mine in the middle, like the middle towards the top. Save the image. Add. Next thing you want to do is click those three lines in the corner. Type in add image, scroll up, go to Insta the Instagram PNG, got mine off of Safari, and size that to your liking. Place it where you want, do the same thing. And I added a Snapchat one, got it from Safari once again. Size that one. I try to like match them up and I'm going to add my Instagram name. Make sure you follow me. It's young underscore nine with the accent on the I. And I added a stroke, I think. And I'm going to add my Snapchat name. Add the white stroke around that one. Now I'm going to add another image and I'm going to add an image of myself. And my images are PNGs and I chose this one. And a PNG means like transparent background. So if you want to know how to make your own PNG, let me know. And I'm going to add a second image. And I think I'm going to choose this one. Click done. Place it where you want. Go 
but right after that you're gonna move everything off their board except for your Instagram name save the image add your snapchat name save the image and add whatever extra thing that you add. I added my pictures and I'm gonna save the image and I also added an emoji you don't have to, but I wanted to add my favorite one. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. It's scratchy today. And I'm going to make that pretty big to fill in that gap space. And I'm going to go home. Go to iMovie. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what iMovie looks like. But if not, I'm going to show you. Click on the plus. Create movie and click on all the images that we did today. Create movie. And the reason why the pictures are moving by itself is because the Ken Burns is on and you want to click on Ken Burns enable to turn it off. And then zoom out. So Ken Burns enabled, zoom out. Ken Burns enabled, zoom out. Then you want to preview it, make sure that the Ken Burns is not on. And I like to change like the length of each one. I don't like mine to be too long. A few seconds should be good. And now I'm going to change the transitions. This is optional. You can keep it the way it came. But I changed my transitions. And yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to preview my video. Make sure that I like it. You guys always want to make sure you preview things or else it might not come up the way you expect it to. But then I'm going to save the movie with the highest quality, which is 4K. And I'm going to wait for that to export to my library or photos, whatever you want to call it. Sorry if you hear the TV in the back, but that's the only way I can focus on things when the TV is on. But whatever. So now you're going to have an app called, you have to have an app called Noise. And this app is free. <laughs> Sorry for that. Click on that little circle. Click on the movie that we just created. And make sure your maximum length is 60 seconds, depending on how long you want your video to be. Once it processes, click next. Click on effect. And Choose whatever effect you want. I chose this grid one. And to add the effect, it should show you when you first download the app. It's going to show you a tutorial on how to do it. But basically, you just click on the effect and hold down the video. And however long you hold the video is however long the effect is going to last. And you can do that more than once until your video is over. And usually, I would try to do it according to the music so like if it's some music that has like a beat dropping to it i would add like a i don't know like an effect to match it but i don't have any music so i'm just doing whatever so do it to your liking and if i don't like something i'll go back like i'll use that backspace button and add whatever i liked and preview it like always and I liked how it turned out. So I'm going to click on next. And you can add music. It gives you music you can add. But I'm not going to because it's just an example. Click on done. And save it. 
to your camera roll. And, you know, make sure it's there. If it's not, go back and save it again. But mine's there. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. And check out my last video. Bye.